this place is called Elebu. I think Elebu or Elebu. Here we have a 14 units of 500 watt solar panels from SeaWorld. But there is something I just observed with SeaWorld. You know, I'm very observant. That's why I do give you guys updates. Now, the initial panels or 500 watt panels that SeaWorld do bring, the length usually used to be 83 inches and the width I think is around 39 inches. But I just discovered that SeaWorld have increased the width of the solar panels and reduced the length. I don't know, maybe it's due to transportation uh, causes or whatever, but it's still cool, not bad. Since they increase the width and reduce the length, we'll still end up getting the same amount of energy or the same size of, you know, solar panel, uh, 500 watt solar panels. Though I've not uh, used my digital multimeter to confirm this, but since they reduce the, uh, the length from 83 inches to about 76 inches, then increase the width from 39 inches to, uh, I think, 44 or 46 inches, I'm still cool with that. And uh, I think before we do the installation, we are going to use digital multimeter to confirm if it will give us up to that 500 watts or not. Then we'll know how to sue, see what, you know, I'm just kidding, but we'll test it out. Here we have two units of uh, six kilowatts uh, inverter from the same sea water. And the installation we'll be doing here, we are going to parallel these two inverters together. It means these two inverters will be communicating together, working as a single inverter, which is 12 kilowatts. Uh, inverter. Each of them is 48 volts, 6 kilowatts from the same seawater. So here we have a 10 kilowatt hour lithium battery, a life profile battery from seawater, 48 volts. You know, my client, when he saw this battery, he was like, ah, why did I send 5 kilowatt hour lithium battery? You know, seawater have changed the design of their 10 kilowatt hour uh, lithium battery. And this battery, I can assure you, is very, very beautiful. We are going to unbox this together. But before we unbox this, you know, uh, when we arrive at this place, we check the inclination or the direction of the sun. Our sun will be rising from the east and setting at the west. So, due to the position of how these roofs are, I suggested to the client to make a carport or make a stand, like a ground level stand, to uh, raise our panels on a flat ground in order for us to harvest the best from our solar panels. So, if you have roofs like this and you're planning to install solar energy system, I will not advise you to install them on such roof because if sun rises from here and set here, if you use, uh, if you have uh, such design or design of this house and you want to install your solar panels, you will not get the best from your solar panels because if, uh, if you install your panels at the back or beside, in the morning your solar panels will harvest the best. Then anything from one or two o'clock, you will not get the best from your solar panels. So I would suggest for you to, you know, uh, make a ground uh, ground mount or raise a stand for your solar panels, more like a carport. So let's unbox this uh, lithium battery together and see how beautiful this lithium battery is. If you install this battery in your house, if someone comes around, he will ask, where did you get this AC from? Not knowing it's a lithium battery. So let's unbox this together. So remember in one of my videos, I taught you guys how to unbox lithium battery. Most of the time, uh, people unbox it from the top. If you unbox it from the top, it will be very difficult for you to access your lithium battery. So the best way to unbox it is from the ground so that you can easily remove this cover and access your battery. So you can see how beautiful this battery is. So if I install this battery in your house and someone comes around, he'll be like, where did you get this AC from? Anyway, this is not AC. This is uh, the new design of the 10 kilowatt lithium battery from SeaWorld. It still have the same indicators like the former one. Here is where the battery indicates, the battery level, uh, the battery volt, and I think the battery temperature. So here we have handle. This is where you can easily hold the battery. You can hold the battery from here. And uh, we still have, uh, okay, I think that side. And here, you can use this side to hold the battery. We have our negative terminals, or our ne negative port, which is two, and also the positive port, which is two. I think this is easy for, you know, paralleling this uh, battery with uh, another lithium battery, or with another 10 kilowatt hour lithium battery. Here we have a breaker switch, which means we don't need a disconnector like an isolator between our inverter and our battery. This design is meant to be on the wall. No gold, they put them on top table. It's meant to be mounted on wall. So if your wall is not strong, I advise you if you are trying to build your house and you're thinking of going solar energy system, do German wall. You know, come put battery in the morning, come see your battery down the floor. 
anyway anyway i'm just i'm just kidding so after this video i just showed you guys what we'll be doing here we have a two unit of six kilowatt uh, inverter which we are going to parallel them together and in another video i'll show you guys how the parallel will be done or how we're going to do the parallel then we have a 10 kilowatt hour lithium battery in the future the client will be adding another 10 kilowatt hour lithium battery to make it 20 kilowatts but he's starting with the 10. then here we have 14 units of 500 watt solar panels now this is the configuration seven panels will be on this guy another seven panels will be on this guy in total we have about 7000 watt i guess so this guy will handle 3500 watts this guy will handle another 3500 watt in the future we can decide to add more solar panels and our inverter can still accommodate the number of the solar panels the reason why we are doing two units of six kilowatt uh, inverter is because we want to achieve 12 kilowatts so when we parallel these guys together we are going to achieve the 12 kilowatt uh, inverter we are looking for or we want to get